and we are live but oh instantly there's six people watching oh my gosh you guys are fast I'm turning on the chat oh there we go say hello when you come on so I know who's here everyone must say hello I'm taking attendance Marilee's here yay you got your ingredients out you ready we're gonna make some raw cookie dough Missy's here. Hi! I got us all set up. I got all my ingredients out. Daisy's here. Hi, Daisy! Am I too close? I need to back this up just a little bit. Hold on. You're not going to be able to see my ingredients. Sure, 37.90. And Annette's here. Yay! You can't see my counter. Char Char's here. Yay! There we go. Can y'all see that good? Crystal's here. Yay! And your food processor. Good. I'm going to use the food processor and my immersion blender. Ho, ho. Yay! I'm going to let everybody get on. 16 people watching already. Awesome. I wonder if Vegan Chica's going to make it tonight. We'll see. And Sherry. Tony's here. Hi, Tony. Y'all, y'all want to know anything about fermenting food, making your own sauerkraut? Tony is your gal. Missy Crocs here. Hi. Oh my goodness. All right, just one more minute. I'm waiting for someone special to get on. If this is a special, special live broadcast, not going to say just why it's special just yet, but it's very special. Not only are we making raw cookie dough, but it's got a surprise in it for somebody. Oh, I'm waiting to, for to them to check in. Annette says, ooh, I would love to know how to make my own sauerkraut. You got to talk to Tony. Find her on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. Tony says, I'm watching you and Master Chef at the same time, multitasking. Woo -woo. Oh my goodness. Esther Brooks here. Hi. How are you? All right. This is awesome. Cool. Let's one more person. I'm waiting for Vegan Chica to kick on. I know she's going to get here. Sherry will be here. I know they're going to come. They're just probably scrambling to get their phone and scrambling to get their stuff done. Everybody got their ingredients ready? We're going to make this raw cookie dough. Get your stuff out. We're just going to make it together. I've got the recipe. I'm just going to read it out. There's Sherry. I knew she'd show up. There she is. Yay! Okay, so, all right, let's just do the special part first. Okay, so we have um, a wonderful couple in our midst tonight who are celebrating their third wedding anniversary today. Dave and Alicia Estabrook three. We have something special for you. Can we get in here? Everybody get in ready. And a one, and a two, and a happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. smooching right now. Y'all need to f stay focused. Eyes on the on me. Y'all can y'all can celebrate your anniversaries at the end of the hour. Ho oh, ho. I love it. It's so cool. Three years. <gasps> Remember that? Remember three years? Oh my goodness. 
I hope all your years are wonderful, just like your third year. Charlie and I have been married 19 years this November, and I'll have to say that at 19 years, it just gets better and better. I think we're better for each other today than we were when we were at our third anniversary. So it's awesome. You got a great ride ahead of you. Oh, Esther Brooks says, I'm actually cooking dinner and my husband surprised me. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so he knows. He, he told me. He let the cat out of the bag and it was all his doing that, that uh, to let me know that it was y'all's anniversary and we got together and, and uh, we kind of collaborated on what kind of uh, dessert we were gonna make tonight. So you just give him an extra big kiss and a hug because he's the reason we're doing this. Oh, and that says I've been married 25 years this past July. Wow, congratulations. That is awesome. That is so awesome. All right, let's start making some cookie dough. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, grinding the nuts. And um, I've got the recipe from My Beef With Meat, okay? This one, page 265 if you've got the book. Now, I didn't have any almonds or cashews and I was too lazy to go to the store. So I'm gonna use walnuts and pecans okay so and you use whatever you want to use whatever you have on hand okay so i need a half a cup of each of these I feel kind of weird having all this hair i usually pull my hair up so it's kind of strange to have my hair down while i'm cooking okay there's a half a cup of walnuts and a half a cup of pecans whoa What's next? Okay, and then we're just going to process these. Let me find out what how. We're going to proce process these until the nuts are crumbled uniformly. And then we're going to transfer them to a bowl. Alright? Let's all make some noise. Can you see that? doesn't make a whole lot of cookie dough so I'm thinking we should go fine not super fine but go fine on our nuts all right this is where I'm going Let me show you what it turn on, turn on. okay can you see that I went super fine. Not super, super fine, but y'all can see that okay? All right, there's mine. There's my one cup of nuts. If anybody's trying to be nut free and they're using like sunflower seeds, speak up. I wanna know how that turns out. Crystal asks, do you keep your nuts in the fridge? No, um, I've been keeping mine in the pantry, uh, but I don't, I, I have stopped stocking up on nuts. So I'm just using what we're going to eat. And then when I get, if I run out and get around to it, then I go buy some more. I used to stock up and keep them in the freezer. And if I, if I know I'm going to make a uh, vegan Parmesan, which calls for cashews, then I'll put cashews in the freezer because it's, they work out better that way. That's that part. Get that out of the way. All right. Ooh, what a mess. Okay, now we need to make our date paste. So I've got six large uh, midjool. I don't know how to say that right. Midjool, midjool, midjool uh, dates. And I picked out the biggest ones out of the package. Okay, and then we need to pit these and add some... Vanilla extract and water. Woo. Well, I better focus. I'm going to put a nut in the bowl. Oh, I love dates. Love them. Mm, 
Everybody putting their dates? Tony says they go rancid fast if you stock up in if you stock up, keep them in the freezer. That's true. Yeah, definitely keep them in the freezer. My aunt, oh, y'all remind me. My aunt Deb was here this last weekend, and uh, her parents live in Memphis, Texas, and they have some of the best pecan trees up there. And her dad likes to collect pecans. And she brought me back a huge bag of pecans in the shell. And uh, I want to show you this big old bag she brought me. They're, they're the best. I can't wait to start cracking them. Okay, there's my dates. Let me wash my fingers. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Let me see. Okay, with our dates, vanilla, and one tablespoon of water, we're going to um, put them in a high-speed blender or our food processor and blend until it's paste-like. Scrape down the sides if we need to and keep on blending until it's pasty. Okay, I need a tablespoon of water. And my ginormous bottle of vanilla. What was it? Tablespoon of vanilla. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? A tablespoon. Wow. We double check. Yep, it really says a tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to use my immersion blender. Dave here, thanks for helping with the surprise. I'm cooking now, and Alicia was super surprised. Yay! Oh. You see me? I'm, I can't talk and cook at the same time. There is a reason why I'm not on the Food Network. Because I can't function. Mm. All right, let's go. I'm going to blend this into a paste. Can you all see? date paste coming out. Busy! Hey girl! I don't keep my dates in the freezer if they dry out just add some, oh just add some water to them. Sherry, I never, I have never had any go bad. Here you go. Yeah, I've seen a, I, watch, I saw somebody put a, a, like a case of dates in their freezer. So I thought I'd try that. So I started putting my dates in the freezer. Um, but I've also left them in the pantry and nothing happened either. I mean, I've had them in the pantry for a while. They're never refrigerated at the grocery store. But, I don't know. Alright, that's it. I'm clean. Okay, we need to transfer our date paste to our nut bowl. Yeah, add the reserved nut mixture to the date mixture, blend together, add the chocolate chips, the oats, and then we're going to, oh, what, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, don't do anything, hold on. Okay. Okay, so it wants us to add 
the nuts to the date mixture and blend that together. Okay, y'all with me? All right, let me try it. Let's see how this works. I don't think it's gonna work. I probably need to go the other way. Yeah. All right. Hold on, let me see how this turns out. If this is a fail, then y'all can go the other direction. I think if I were doing the spinning processor, this would probably work. Where's my thingy? My thingy, I need my thingy. All right, we'll see how this works in a tubular. Hey, hey! Let me slow this down. Well, not too slow. making it creamier. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, though. Ah! My gosh. Look at that. What a mess. Uh. Who else is here? Okay. Thought somebody new was in the room. this one more time. Get the last of this. I'll have some cookie dough ready here in a minute, Max. Did y'all see my brown lentil chili soup post that I made, uh, put on, tw uh, what did I do, Twitter and Instagram and I posted on Facebook. Stuff was good. Ah! I'm not finished. I haven't started editing the video yet. I've just been working on the recipe. It was a re I got the recipe from uh, Whole Foods website. And of course, it was a stove top, and I just turned it into an iPod recipe. I tweaked a few of the ingredients, but and then I just made it for the iPod. Ha -ha, whoop, whoop. You know what? Y'all woo woo, right? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Gosh. I'd stick my finger in here, but that blade is sharp. Okay, that's clean enough. Okay. Does your stuff look like mine? Sherry says we should cook like this every Wednesday. I think so too. If this works out, we can keep up with each other. Tara's here. Hi, Tara. Tara, you got your ingredients? You can catch up to us. It's not too late. There's not much to this. It's supposed to take five minutes to throw together. Of course, we're talking, so it's going to take longer. I think we could definitely do desserts because, you know, at 7 o'clock, you know, I've, I'm, I, have to, I have to eat like at 5 or 6. I can't wait this long to have dinner. But I can wait this long for dessert. Okay, now what? What are we doing? Okay, now it's time to add the chocolate chips. So I've got the... Where, where's the package? I've got the vegan chocolate chips. Where'd my package go? There it is. I'm using those. And, uh, because they're at ATB. I, did, I love living in Austin because you don't have to drive all over town to get these... Dairy, nut, soy free chocolate chips. If you don't have these, just use a non dairy or a no dairy chocolate, dark chocolate. Okay, what was my three tablespoons? I'm getting cookie dough on my book. Three tablespoons of the chips. Oh no, Chum fell. Oh no. Oh no. That's a lot. I think I'm okay. Uh, ah, 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 that's good. Oh no, something fell. Oh no. 
Okay, and then three tablespoons of old fashioned oats. One. Ooh, you know what I want to add to mine? Hold on, I forgot to get it out. I want to add some coconut. Starting soon making spaghetti. Ooh. Daisy said I used my my processor. And Nettie says I love Lent 85%. Right, I'm going to get my coconut. I got the fancy grade. Because I'm fancy. It's the big stuff. I bought this... Uh, I bought this particular coconut bag of coconut flakes because it's the big kind and these and Drina Burton, I'm sure it's on her website, but I have her plant powered family cookbook and she has a recipe in there on making these into bacon and I want to try it and put it on my sandwich. Oh no! Sure, 3790 said vegan chica can't make it tonight. She says to say hello. Aw, thank you for letting me know. Okay, so I'm going to add, um, Max is not a big fan of coconut, so I'm just going to add two tablespoons. These are big flakes. I could just do this. That's what I really want to do. Y'all dare me? No, I'm just kidding. I actually had a bowl of that last night. Probably shouldn't have, but I, but I did. Okay, let's try to turn this over. I'm going to fold it. Mmm. We're almost there. Yum, yum, yum. It says that we can add one tablespoon of water if we need it for the texture, if it seems too dry. Hmm. We'll see, mine looks good. I think I have enough, that, um, that vanilla really made this wet. Miss Plant's here! Hi, Miss Plant! Miss Plant's real name is Amy. Amy's here! Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm mixed up. What about y'all? Hey, when you get done, if you've made a different, if your batch looks different from mine, take a picture of it and post it. Either on Facebook or um, post it in the plant bay. No, no, no. Yeah, anywhere. Just play it, post it either on Simple Daily Recipes or my page or um, or on the Plant-Based Recipe Hoarders page. Any of those. Wherever you want to. Just tag me in it. So I know, so I can find you. Alright, I'm done. Boom. Okay. Now it says we're supposed to press balls of the mixture firmly into a teaspoon. Sorry, I got dirty minded there for a minute. Uh, and then free the dough from the spoon shape and place on a serving plate. Serve immediately if you can't help yourself. Otherwise, chill first. Can you run through what you've done so far? <laughs> we, um, I use the food processor to, to uh, process the nuts into a semi-fine texture. Then I uh, poured those into this bowl. Then I took those pitted dates with one tablespoon of vanilla, used my hand blender and pureed that, and, and one tablespoon of water, and pureed that into a paste then we added the nuts in, hit it with the immersion blender again to get it all good and gooey and blended. Then transferred it to this bowl, added the chocolate, and added the rolled oats. And then I added uh, 
the flaked coconut. And then we're stirring. There we go. And we're done. That's it. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get this on my plate. I, I got some cool 1970s plates, but I bought them in 2015 at Big Lots. These plates, they're Malamine plates. Got them for a dollar at Big Lots. And they're all the cool 70s colors of my kitchen. I have like burnt orange, and uh, I got some baby blue to match my, to match Betty the refrigerator. All right. Okay, let me think how I want to do this. How do I want to do this? I don't want to waste my dates. I think I'm going to use regular spoons. Ah, I got hair in my mouth. Okay. I'm going to use gold spoon or two spoons. Can you see me? Now, they recommend this makes, oh, did you see me spit? It's my dough, I can have it. Um, you think I have, still have my braces. Uh, they say this makes 20 teaspoon size cookies. We'll see. Does that look like a teaspoon? You think they mean teaspoon like the size of one of these teaspoons or a teaspoon like, like a measuring teaspoon? I'm gonna guess this. Wet your spoon that way it won't stick too badly. Uh-oh, okay. Boom, can you see that? Ha 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 ha. Oh, let's go bigger. Let's make it like a real bite size. Oh yeah. Is this how you're doing it? You're doing it like this? There you go. Man, these look good. I can't wait to eat one. But I'm gonna make myself finish it first. Ooh, this is a big one. Wah! Yeah. Oh, now it's starting to stick, Annette. It's time to wet the spoons. They don't have to be Martha Stewart perfect, do they? I don't think so. There's nothing about me that's Martha Stewart except my analness. Estabrook says, thanks, Jill and everyone. We are going to go enjoy our dinner and then this, this delicious looking dessert. Awesome. You guys have fun. Happy anniversary. Oh, Missy says, I'm using cookie, small cookie scoop. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're using, uh, I got one of those too. I got one of those too. Oh, that one looks weird. I think if we don't do this right, it'll look like a turd. That would not be good. Not good at all. Funny though. Let that can you see them? They can be rustic. There we go. We're making rustic turds tonight. Yay! Yeah. Let's see if I can actually get 20. I don't think so. I think I'm making mine too big. I think mine are way too big. Rip would not approve. Well, he might approve. He'd probably be just thrilled that I'm making them. Alright, y'all tell me how many uh, of these... Tell me how many of these you are able to get out of your batch. Come up to three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If I get smaller, I'm not going to make it to twenty. Fifteen. 
Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna do it. Not gonna make it. And the last one's like really big. Hold on. I think if I cut the last one in half, it'll be. Oh my goodness. I can't imagine making these smaller. They'd be hard. If you made them smaller, then I'd just have to eat two. Make me look like I'm pigging out. All right, this one's really little. This one's tight. This one's probably the size it's supposed to be. All right, I did it. I used up all the dough. There we are. All right, what? Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I got, Mary Lee got 21. Missy got 17 and a half. Man, do, do, you, do yours look like this? Mine are probably too big. All right. Hey, kids. Sorry to yell. Time to try the damn good cookies. All right, grab one. Get in there. Show your faces. You're too close. All right, what do you think? Be honest. Can this be turned into a full cookie? No. Then there's, I do not see cookie dough. Well, it's, you're supposed to pretend. Use your imagination. But make, what about it's cookie dough that's actually cookies that, like, that you make into your almond cookies and such? Oh, no, not like that. This is just a raw, like raw food, raw cookie dough. Okay. Well, Wait. definitely not disappointed. All right. But it'd be cool if you could actually turn it into a cookie. Yeah, but there's no flour or egg or anything. It's just dates and chocolate and nuts. All what right. do you think, Maggie? It's not bad. There you go. I wouldn't eat it all the time, but it's not bad. Oh my gosh, she's eating nuts. You're eating dark chocolate. You're eating rolled oats. Well, you have rolled oats. I in thought there was nuts in there. Yeah, there's nuts in there. You're eating pecans. And walnuts. Good for your brain. Looks like Maggie likes them. There we go. Ew, gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> gross. You've been banned. That's gross. Don't do that anymore. Yeah. Oh, just say he got 18. All right. Gosh, Marilee, she. Okay, so thank you guys. You're Where's your dad? Upstairs. Charlie. I have a I have a small cookie scoop. I think I'd probably be able to get more out of it if I use that one. These are like tablespoon. Alright, here we go. Here comes the man. The man is in the house. Wait, get back here. You gotta eat it in front of everybody. Oh I'm all bleached out. Let's go over here. Here, you're you be all bleached out. Why is it all bleached out my ears? Here, come back here. Come back here. There we go. Mmm. Yeah, and it says, let's see if Charlie likes them. You know, just like in the commercial. Give them to Charlie. He'll eat anything. Think dried cranberries would help? I don't know. I don't have any. I got raisins. I'd make it too rich. For me. What do you think? I think they'd be better cold. It's like a... They're eating them too. It's like a turtle, right? The wall... Uh, oh, a, yeah. Like a pecan turtle. Yeah. Possibly. With, without the... You know, without the caramel. Without the chocolate outside. Without the... Yeah, without the caramel. Mm. Oh, Ann Lee's here. Hi, Ann. Daisy, are you going to put some dried cranberries in yours? Mm. I think it would be good frozen. What if we mm. freeze them? Mm. I don't know. Cold? I don't know. It might be a little, you know, might be like hard. Daisy said she know. pressed hers flat. Like a rock. Yeah. I like all the, the pieces though. Mm-hmm. I could definitely roll it in chocolate. Mm. Cover it in cho chocolate. Mm, that'd be good. Mm-hmm. What's that other thing we do? You know, the... 
Oh, well, I make date balls and I roll it in. Right. Crumbled. Yeah. Crumbled I, nut. And that's I think that's what I'm thinking about because if you put it in the freezer, it gets too hard. But if you, but if it was like more, uh, more date or something like more chew to the, it. Uh huh. The but, date's really loose. But I like see I like all the chocolate and all of the nuts and all the stuff that the kids don't like. So. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They oh. Don't, they don't like that. They don't like that in cookies. They don't like that in regular cookies. There you go. Missy Crock agrees. Oh yeah, frozen and Tara just bit into hers. Oh, these are good. Mm. Mm. I got a hair in my mouth. Mm. I like them. Well, let's put them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Put that plate in the fridge. What's that? I said put that plate in the fridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat that one? Hey, I've only had one. Save me some. That's not my fault. <laughs> well, here, have another one. I will take, they're really rich. Uh, I'll take that they one. They are right rich. Mmm. I'm going to have one more. Tara mm. said it would be weird to use this as a pie. Oh, would it be weird to use this as a pie crust? I don't think it would get crunchy. Mm. That would be pretty good. Yeah, but I don't think it, get, it would get crunchy, though. No, not, not that kind of. Like not that kind of. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what we're talking about. No mm -hmm. There's there are date there are date crust thingies, mm. date crust recipes. I think if we added more nuts, I haven't made one of those yet. But we should. Uh, mm. Is it all like? Is this all natural sweeteners? Sweeteners? Mm -hmm. Oh, because I was gonna say maybe you should roll it in powdered sugar. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> just, just to cut down on the you know the finger well, the, the finger looking. You just don't lick your fingers. You'd have powdered sugar all over your hands. Oh, Daisy's got the right idea. She's going to make some chai tea. Mmm. Mmm. Sherry says this tastes like a holiday treat. I'm with you and Tara right there. Mm -hmm. It does It does taste like it could be a pecan. Uh, you could use it with a pecan pie dish. Mmm. Oh, it does take a, like a pecan pie. What, yeah. if, what if we have like a traditional pie crust? And we do it in like those mini pans, you know, the little mini tart pans. And we took this and we pressed it, like we baked the baked the crust, so we have the little mini pie crust crust. Okay, they're already cooked up. And then we just take this dough and we press it in there, and we stick a little pecan on the top. And then it wouldn't be totally raw, but mmm. You're welcome, Marilee. I wish I could claim it as my own, but it's not. Tony asked, can you roll them in nuts before you refrigerate them? I don't see why not. Oh, that's what I was referring to earlier. Um, Laura Theodore, the Jazzy Vegetarian, has a date bowl recipe. And uh, I think it's she uses walnuts and dates blended together like we did here in the beginning. And then um, uh, when she's processing the walnuts, she um, holds back like a fourth cup, I think, a fourth cup or a half a cup of the walnuts. And then she blends the nuts and the date paste together, makes them into little balls, and then you're supposed to, yeah, make them into little balls, rolls them in the dates, and then you can put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. There we go. Man, these are good. Okay, I got some survivors. I'm going to put these in the fridge. Brown rice. Ooh, I added brown rice crispy cereal. Mmm, oh. <gasps> those are going to be good. She's going to have some. Yours is going to taste like a, um, oh, what is it? Like a crunch bar? What am I thinking? All right, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Look what I did last night or yesterday afternoon. Um, I made some chocolate ganache, and I saw I saw this in uh, when I was trying to figure out what dessert we were going to make. I was in Happy Herbivore's Holidays and Gatherings cookbook, and she has the thing with the the chocolate dip bananas and the cake balls. And so this is I made a I took my vegan chocolate chips and melted them, added a little bit of. Uh, Vanilla and just a splash of soy milk so I could get it ganache. These are frozen. 
And then I took, ah, I can't get this off. And then I took uh, bananas and cut them up and stuck them on popsicle sticks and dipped them in the ganache. Of course, it peels off. But anyways, and then dipped it in the ganache and then these are frozen. Oh my gosh. There, there was a plate of these. And this is like eating a chocolate vanilla bite. It is so good. And here's two bananas that are stuck together. Anyways, these are awesome. If you want a, like a chocolate treat that, that balances like, you know, chocolatey goodness and something whole food, th these are it. You got to make these. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you. Um, I got my book back today from my book designer. He sent me the PDF version of the print copy and it looks really good. He added some touches to it. There's a couple of things I got to ask him to change. Um, so I'm really excited. I, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that maybe this Sunday I'll be able to get it, uh, get the book up on Amazon and we can get it out in uh, on sale on Amazon. It will be totally awesome if that happens. Ah, I don't know. Cross your fingers. So it's really beautiful. He tweaked it and uh, it's even prettier than what I can, could have done. So it's really awesome. All right, we're almost done. 10 seconds left. Thank you all 53 people for watching and watching my dog. And uh, I really enjoyed this. Let's do this again.